This is another aspect about the game I want to talk about. In just a moment. So these things are called power glyphs. And you get mm -hmm. this wide selection of them. A whole bunch. Here's the problem. They're all useless. There's not a single one of these that is helpful in any scenario. Like, they are all super specific. Fastball special. Increases damage of enemies thrown with the Ener Beam. Which would be great if it weren't for the fact that the Ener Beam is slow, useless, and more often than not, when you try to use it, you just end up getting hit. Risk Taker increases damage when rings are low, which is impossible because there are so many damn rings in this game. Speedy Charge reduces time to unleash a charge special attack, except there's no reason to. There's no there's not like any enemies that require you use a charged attack against them, and it goes on and on and on. The only one I found that's actually kind of fun is Big Bang, for the specific reason that Bloody Mess is kind of fun in, in the Fallout games, is it makes enemies explode more when you beat them up. So, we're pretty much going to put on Big Bang, and we're never going to remove it. Because what you saw right there from the selection of glyphs we had, was all we had. Let's see. Hold up a second, I forgot to do something at the start of this episode. Hmm. There we go. Just refreshing the stream for you there. <laughs> no, I don't want you to miss a moment of this, friend. Because uh, because I love you like that. I was hoping... Oh, this! This! This is another thing I want to talk about. If we're talking about weird things about this game. Alright, notice my stats up in the corner. 20 crowns, 18,638 scrap metal. I'm doing pretty well for myself. I've collected almost every crown I could up to this point. Mm-hmm. All the scrap metal I could have, I've opened up all the treasure chests. So we've got things like Tag Teamer, increase damage when other players attack with you, Super Combo, gain a small boost to your scrap. Super Combo is kind of good, so we're going to do that. I'm going to spend 7,500 to get that. Now, for level 2 of the ability, I need 50 crowns. Why? 50! At this point in the game, they offer me the ability to do this. Why? Now, here's the other problem. Money bags. This ability. Oh, this is fun. So many people got up a wall for this, and for good reason. So, money bags. Activate to increase your maximum rings, which, as we've established, is your life bar in this game. Guess what? To unlock this upgrade further, you must use the Nintendo 3DS Connect feature from the main menu. Why? You have to connect a copy of Shattered Crystal for the 3DS. <laughs> Why? You have to pay to turn on easy mode in this game. Why? <laughs> that like, I'm, at this, I'm not even asking about the game mechanics at this point. You're asking why this game exists. Why am I still watching it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm making you, and I'm sort of paying you to do this. Yeah, I just, it's like, I'm what? I'm paying uh, you in gratitude, pretty much. And I All the more reason thing. to click on her ads, because, you know, awesome. co-hosts need to eat, too. Hey, kids, click on the ads, and I might have to watch more. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm the man in the booth. I am baiting the kids to throw the balls at me, to drop me into the water, oh, well, which I assume is acidic. I've actually gotten a lot better about that over the years. I've tried... Because I realize at this point, if I turn on ad block anywhere I go, I'll be a hypocrite. So if I don't watch other people's ads, I'm basically making the internet as bad as possible. Like, begging people to watch what I do and support me, but then turning around and saying, Nah, can't help you there, bro. And these are the kinds you think about when you start making content. When you start thinking, yeah, that'd be a bit of a contradiction, wouldn't it? Hmm. Did you hear about the whole investigation somebody did into the uh, Ubisoft incident with the Far Cry 4 keys? Oh dear, what happened there? Okay, well, there are these sort of gray market websites where people can... They're basically the Ebays of game codes. So, you can buy these codes not knowing where they're coming from in a lot of cases. So, these could be completely fraudulent codes that somebody... Ugh. 
bought with someone else's credit card, and this is what Ubisoft was claiming. And they said, yeah, all of these codes were obtained using stolen credit card information, and we're invalidating them because of that. Oh, and this you. is kind of the risk you face when you use sites like this. Like, you have no idea where the code is coming from. It could be somebody just got a gift code and they they want to sell it because they don't need it. They already have a different copy of the game they're using for personal use. Or it could be some scumbag who stole from other people. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad they sorted that out, Beth. What's up? I'm glad they sorted that out, but that is eerie that that happens. Well, here's here's one of the best parts about this whole story. Well, I use the term best in quotes because... This just kind of reflects badly on all content creators out there. A guy actually bought... Somebody did some actual journalism in this industry. I'm amazed. But they did some investigation. They actually dropped some money on buying a Far Cry 4 code from one of these websites. And he... And then he turned to a representative he knew from Ubisoft to try and check where the code came from. Apparently, this had been given to a YouTuber as a review code, and he sold it. Dark blue. Me and Grandma got light blue. That should do it. Continue. And he, that is about the scummiest thing that you could possibly do. Because when you get a review code, I've been emailing companies for months trying to get on that white list, trying to get people to know who I am, what we do, the types of media we make, and maybe make my job a little easier by getting rid of the fact that I have to pay for some of the games I have to review, because that alone is making me broke. Why are we always yeah. Okay, if, if I could get people to treat me like media, that would be amazing. So, I know for a fact that working on that type of thing takes time, it takes effort, and takes a lot of trust to build up that type of reputation. To waste that, to basically take all that good faith that somebody puts in you, and just throw everybody in this industry under the bus like that, that is... That is the douchiest thing you can possibly pull. Like, yeah, that, that is you should never be allowed on anybody's good favor ever again type thing. And yay, barely to that. Like, that's just pure scum. That is, like, the blackest this industry gets. That is downright... I'd say that's... Never mind. I I'm gonna... I can't even be funny about it. This type of thing just legitimately pisses me off. It's extremely misanthropic, near sociopathic even. It's disgusting. Yeah. Whoop. Grab myself a zip line there. Speaking of disgusting, this game. <laughs> nice segue. You know what's the I'm... thing that uh, drives me up a wall about this game though, and not to about this particular segment? Uh huh. And not to not to invoke a pun of my own here or anything, but. Uh, there, there was a crown during that segment. You saw that. Mm-hmm. So how do I know that the alternate paths I go down don't also have crowns down them? I don't yep. know. And that's the real kicker here. Well, see, that would... See, that would apply that there was thought put into a lot of this game design. Mm -hmm. There are alternate paths. Would they lead anywhere? No. I'm do they... I'm fascinated with the backstory of, like, who Red Button Entertainment is. Like, who worked for the company? Is this an Action 52 scenario where they were just made up of people fresh out of college or something to that effect? <laughs> How long did they have to work on the game? What was the work environment like? Who were some of the specific individuals that might have contributed to all of this going downhill? Because any time there's a game like this, Sonic is not an unknown name. There's gotta be a fascinating story behind why, or maybe even a cautionary tale of sorts, about how this all ended up the way it did. We'll have to find that out next time on Pizza Plays. Yeah, next time on Pizza Plays, we'll hop into this temple. Temple of what? Who cares? I wish it were the Omek Temple from Legends of the Hidden Temple. That would be awesome. <laughs> the rings are yours, and yours alone. Tails, you won the idol in the, in the pass-off game. Who would you like to go first? Do, 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 do. Oh, I missed that show. 